Sometimes people ask me what it is that I do all day as a grad student. And really, it is quite simple. While collapsing with compunction, some arbitrary way of direct pet. Then I normalize a state of project by an operator to diagonalize a basis or a set. <laughs> then I push to an inertial Lorentz frame, where I find the laws of physics stay the same. And light invariant velocity is a postulate of relativity. After that, I'll find essential gravitational potential be corrected for my GPS to function quite all right. Finding space time is distorting Newton cause I mask important singularities with gravity can overpower light. Published papers in a journal on a schedule have not journal responding to reviewers in a manner uncontrived. <laughs> Calculating geodesics, down in beer and analgesics, running number simulations, working late into the night. Oh, the undergrads complain. Can you break this set again? And our mental time <laughs> impractical, our need for food and rest. But the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is just proving most of physics with a single simple test. Directing my attention to an optical invention like the cloak that Harry Potter once possessed. I've a rock with plates and cereal, a new meta material, a place that's safe to hide and get some rest. After that, I find magnetic monopoles, superluminal neutrinos, or black holes, or probe the secrets of cosmology. What? Or dark matter and dark energy. After that, I'll measure factors in my nuclear reactors, taking care to keep it close within my radiation suit. Build a TEM wave rider, you to launch hydron collider to determine if my operators actually commute. Applying new heuristics using bosine sign statistics will derive exact solutions if we have to now and then. Hamiltonian's quadratic, not much change adiabatic. Why complicate the model if you're good to factor 10? Oh, biologists imply that we oversimplify, claiming cows are not as physical as spherical as it conclude. But the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is arriving all of science to an order of magnitude. Oh, biologists imply that we oversimplify, claiming cows are not as spherical as physicists conclude. But the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is inviting all of science to 